Portland Wrestling is brought to you by Tom Peterson's, the happy place to buy, with four great stores at Southeast 82nd and Foster Road, where it's worth the trip. Now to ringside and your host, Don Cott. All right, welcome to the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. We've got a main event street match. A street match tag. We've got the wrecking crew against the team of Steve Dahl and Crusher Norton tonight in main event. Boy, what a street match that's going to be. Also tonight, we've got Bart Sawyer and Al Madrill in a very special grudge match. A lot of stipulations here. If Sawyer can beat Madrill, Madrill has to hand out $1,001 bills to the kids in the arena. Now, don't you wish you were here tonight, huh? Also... Also, Madrill has to give up his piñata, which is full of candy, and it's going to be broken open and given to the kids tonight if Sawyer beats Madrill. Now, if Madrill beats Sawyer, then that means that Sawyer loses his Fiesta Garden hostmanship, which he won last week. Next Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Next Saturday night, we're going to have a bunkhouse battle royal with $5,000 on the line to the winner. This is a come-as-you-are-anything-goes, knockdown, down drag-out, bunkhouse battle royal next Saturday night. Christmas night, Tuesday the 25th, listen to this. A big extravaganza is being planned right here at the Portland Sports Arena. Don Owen is putting together an action-packed card, lots of surprises, and he's going to top it off with a cage match right here Christmas night. Going back to next Saturday night, speaking of Don Owen, out of the generosity of Don Owen's heart, listen to this, what he's doing. The Portland Pol Police Bureau sponsoring the Sunshine Division food drive for needy people this holiday season. All you have to do is bring a can of food next Saturday night to the Portland Sports Arena, and you'll get $1 off on your admission into the House of Action. How about that? That's for the Sunshine Division. Another reminder, one more reminder. We're going to stand up for this one. We mentioned this last Saturday night. Roddy Piper's Piper Pit Transmission Center at 156th and Southeast Division has donated and is donating a transmission overhaul to an auction to raise money for little Jeremy who is in need of a wheelchair. Now that, uh, that's, quite a, that, that's quite a heart that Roddy Piper has got, right? Piper's Pit Stop. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. <laughs> oh, Scotty the Body. What, what do you got there? Is that, is that bunkhouse material? Yeah, listen to the people, Don Cost. It's great, man. I love having the people cheer for me. But I'll tell you what, next week we got that $5,000 bunkhouse battle royal. And as Nancy Sinatra said, this boot is made for walking. And it's going to walk all over you. <laughs> oh, hey, Don, we got a lot of big things going on next week. Now, next Saturday, in the uh, Saturday morning and all afternoon, some of the guys here from the Portland Wrestling are going to be at the Sunshine Division for the Portland Police Bureau. Scotty the Bunny is going to be there at 3.30 with Bart Sawyer. Me and Rambo are going to be there in the morning at 10.30. We'll be collecting food, canned food for all the people out there. There's a lot of people that aren't going to have a good thing, you know, a good Christmas time, like some of us that are more fortunate. We're going to be there collecting food. It's going to be at the convention center at the south side, at the south parking lot. Now, Don Owens was talking to me and Scotty. Me and Scotty came up with a little plan. Tell about Scotty. Oh, it's great, man. But, uh, you know, a lot of people got problems. I mean, you know, me and Stevie, we got it real good, and a lot of people ain't got it so good, so we want to donate some food, I guess, to charity, what it is. So we talk with Don Owens, we come up with it, whereas next week, if you bring a can of food with you to Portland Wrestling, you get a dollar off your admission. Wait till you got to admit, it's $7 a ticket, that drops it to 6 that's real inexpensive. Yeah, you and all the baby. food you'll be bringing will be helping people that don't have food. So it's for a real worthy cause. I'd like to see all these people come out. And I'll tell you what, the way they support us, I'm sure they will be out here, Don Cause. All right, and hey. one more. I just want to say right now, the big news is those $5,000 bunkhouse battle roll. That means anything goes, baby. And I'll tell you what, Grappler, last week, you made a big deal. You're making a big deal about this boot. You're making a big deal about the sleeper. We told you, we promised you, me and the body, 
You go out on your way. You do anything wrong. We're coming down your heart. The sleeper is still open season, baby. We're coming after you. Five thousand dollars. One of us is gonna be taking it, baby. No matter how many sit down strikes they want, the sleeper holds us awake. You ain't gonna win five thousand bucks by sitting down. You're gonna win it by getting that ring and fighting for your life, baby. It's gonna be a fight for the life. Everybody's gonna be out there bringing anything they want to. We're coming at you. Five thousand dollars on the line. Me and the body. We're coming with everything we got. You better tell them what you got. That's right. Bill Prescott, we're going to be back with everything right after this. Don't you dare go away. Step on my side. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad, and we have great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no payments, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got great buys on television. Choose Zenith, 19-inch, 227. Magnavox, 25-inch remote, 337. RCA, 25-inch remote, 397. Zenith, 27-inch remote, 497. Plus free delivery today. That's Tom Peterson. Take the steps that set the wheels in motion for a good-paying career driving trucks. There's a big demand for truck drivers today, and in eight short weeks with commercial training services, you can be on your way to the best job you've ever had. You'll enjoy loads of freedom, variety, and responsibility as a truck driver. With our excellent reputation, our graduates get hired. Financial aid is available. Classes are held days, nights, and weekends. Call commercial training services today and join the people who move America. At the Olive Garden Italian restaurant, we speak a different language. We have no words for can't and won't and impossible. No phrases for a little less or not too much. In fact, we don't know the meaning of enough. Some would say speaking a different language can make all the difference in the world. The Olive Garden Italian restaurant, where all the best of Italy is yours. Celebrate the magic of the holidays when one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time returns to television. I'm dreaming of a white Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye team up for music, romance, and holiday cheer. Merry Christmas! In the Irving Berlin masterpiece, White Christmas. Bring in the holidays with a classic. White Christmas, Sunday night at 5 on KPTB 12. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. And welcome back to the House of Action. Boy, my, uh, my shoulder feels good. I've had my rub down. How about you? You got your foot stepped on, but your shoulder's still great. Oh, yes. From KUFO 101, we got Bill Prescott here. And we've also got, we've got a good crowd here tonight, Bill. We're ready for a lot of action, and we're going to get things started with young gun Brad Anderson and our buddy Scotty the Body. This is going to be a good match. It's good to see Scotty back in action again, although a year ago I don't know if I'd be saying that or not. But No, a year ago you wouldn't have. No. No, you'd have been shying away from him. But Scotty's a crowd favorite now. You bet. Fans love him. We all love him. And we're getting ready for action. Let's go back out to the, to the ring and get set for the house of action. Here comes Young Gun. I didn't notice he's got that hangman's noose with him. I wish just once he'd leave that in the dressing room. See if he could finish a match fairly without it, but I know I'm dreaming. Well, that, that, that uh, noose has been a nightmare for a lot of people. And now, get ready. So welcome in. The body. Scotty, listen, the music is starting. And you'll be able to tell by, wait a minute, it's not Scotty. What is it? <laughs> Looks like we've got Rambo making it. we got great. John Rambo. Well, I didn't mean to lie to you. It's John Rambo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the House of Action. Before announcing this first bout, I want to tell you that all kids we're having another kids' night two weeks from tonight on December 15th. All kids will be admitted free of charge if they come with adults. The first event this evening will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 236 pounds, the young rider, Brad Anderson. The young gun. 
His opponent in this corner, 240 pounds, Louisiana, from the member of the 82nd Airborne, John Rambo. <laughs> Referee, Sandy Barr. You know, Bill, I hope this... I hope this doesn't mean that something's happened to Scotty uh, that maybe he ran into foul play back in the dressing room or on the way to the dressing room. We'll find out a little bit later. Maybe we've just had a change in the schedule. Hope, I hope Scotty's okay. Yeah, he looked okay a minute ago. Yeah, I mean, uh, two, oper two or three a... operations on a broken nose. Yeah. The guy's been through enough. Yeah, he's had enough pain, but he's ready to come back in full force. Well, this will be a good match, too. John Rambo and young gun Brad Anderson. Both men pretty evenly matched. And both men taking the Pacific Northwest by storm in a short period of time. Rambo, of course, a crowd favorite. And Anderson with his trademark uh, rope and tactics. Well, he's made a, him a guy everybody loves to hate. Yeah, he's a favorite, all right, not with the crowd. I guess the turnbuckle goes Rambo. And a knee right into the midsection by Rambo. Oh, a hard smack right upside the ear. Oh, that makes my ear hurt. Bill, I can feel that from here. Through the ropes, outside goes John Rambo onto the floor. Anderson, a man with a lot of wrestling heritage, a long yes, family he's... lineage of. Uh... Oh, oh man. Anderson says hello to that post. Well, I'll tell you, his lineage and heritage isn't helping him right now. John Rambo fighting fire with fire there. And Anderson still down on the floor. He took on the Iron Post, and the Post will win every time. He is flat on his back. Anderson, of course, a member of the Four Horsemen family out of Atlanta. And he probably wishes uh, about three or four of those horses would show up around. You're now. right about the Post winning. I mean, wrestlers come and wrestlers go, but that Post, it, stays. it keeps yeah. us ground. Yep, it stands tall. We're getting back in the ring. Brad Anderson. Is it just me or is Anderson losing a little more hair on the side of his head every week? I don't know. He maybe he's changed barbers. I, I, <laughs> I, it's, it's a little different. Young Gun. He calls himself Young Gun. Brad Anderson. And meanwhile, Rambo is poised for action. Yes, he has. And we've seen Rambo use these martial arts. Look at this. Oh, hard. Down he goes. And another big boot to the face. You notice that Rambo uses the martial arts skill of balance. All he had to do was just touch Anderson. He had him positioned just right. And I don't, I don't think he has any, any peers in that level here at the, uh, at the House of Action. No one's got his sense of balance and of, uh, and the discipline that comes with martial arts training that Rambo does. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, why we, we're, we're busy all week long. Tomorrow in Coos Bay, at Marshfield High School, starting at seven o'clock. Understand a tag title match. And uh, let's see, we got. Monday the 3rd in McMinnville at the Armory. 8 o'clock, a title match in McMinnville. And Steve Dahl and Scotty the Body will be on the card in McMinnville. Tuesday the 4th in the Dalles at the Armory, 7 o'clock bell time. Wednesday the 5th in Gresham at the Armory, 7 o'clock bell time. Back body dropped by Rambo and a drop kick by Rambo. And Anderson going to sit down in the corner. And I know that in Gresham, you get your tickets at uh, Mr. Formal in Gresham for that, for that match on Wednesday the 5th. Thursday the 6th in Newburgh at the Armory starting at 7 o'clock. And then Friday the 7th in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds, 8 o'clock bell time. Is that time. the night of the Big Ten Man uh, Battle that, Royal? That is going to be the Big Ten Man Over the Top Battle Royal. $1,500 on the line of that one, Bill. Sign me up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, <laughs> you think you can be the last man left in the ring? <laughs> not likely. But Alive? <laughs> not likely. <but laughs> uh, another, another martial arts kick by Rambo and Anderson. This so is what I mean about Anderson. He just can't compete on this level of expertise. Sure, he's got a few dirty tricks up his sleeve. Oh, well, he's and also got a dirty trick hanging on the on the pole over there too. That's yeah, that there's that. And usually, you know, uh, when things get going real bad for for Anderson, invariably he he will go for that noose. And I just think I, I I still think that should be outlawed. They shouldn't even let him in in the arena with that noose. A right hand, another right hand. Oh man, you did that. Yeah, right. I felt it. I felt it. Yeah, hear that hard smash and chop clear up here. Now Beal, halfway across the ring. No! 
and he came down, and nobody there. Rambo had moved out of the way. Boy, those slaps and chops, they took their uh, they took their toll on Rambo, but he still he could move out of the way in time. To There's voice. no good way to land on that mat. <laughs> Another reminder that next Saturday night, next Saturday night at Bunkhouse Battle Royal. This is a bunkhouse battle royal. Now that means I don't know if you've ever seen a bunkhouse no, been inside a bunkhouse or smelled one. <laughs> it's this a come as you are, anything goes. These guys can bring anything they want into the ring. They can wear anything they want into the ring. And it's a battle royal, five thousand dollars to the winner. And that is going to be a riot. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a pierce. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's going to be something else. A, all heck will be breaking loose. Oh, they'll break heck right there right away. Bunkhouse Battle Royal, that's what they call it. Also next Saturday night, thanks to Don Owen, uh, on behalf of the Portland Police Bureau's Sunshine Division, and that's their canned food drive for the homeless and the needy. Oh, man, as Rambo takes a boot right in the chops, all you have to do next Saturday night is bring a canned food item. No perishables, please, just a canned food item, and you get a dollar off your admission to the House of Action. It's amazing what a difference it can make. If everyone just brings one can, how much you can collect at the end of a night. You bet. It will help people. And how many you can feed. Good move by Brad Anderson. One, two, and he's got it. No. He's out at two and a half. Rambo gets that left shoulder up. Well, you hear this crowd, the crowd yelling for Rambo and John. Man, they, they love Rambo. Rambo does not love this, however. Well, he was a favorite his, his first week here. He was. Of course, Anderson needs a time to recover. Rambo putting a lot of pressure on that arm of uh, Anderson, but now the midsection. Oh, man, what? And now Rambo's head. Did he land on, uh, did Rambo put his fist up or did he land on his head? Was that his head? He just landed right on his head. Four minutes remaining, four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, and Bill Prescott, you too. <laughs> a news flash, a bulletin, bulletin, bulletin just received. That bunkhouse battle royal that we were talking about la uh, for next for next coming week, up next Saturday night. Yes, it will not be on television. They're not going to televise. Well, it. you better get your tickets now for the House of Action. If you haven't been to Portland Wrestling Live, it's it's that's not the same as seeing it on television. It's no, it's a whole different dimension down here live. So if you want to see one of the wildest professional wrestling matches of any kind you're going to see anywhere is going to be next Saturday night the bunkhouse battle royal and when these when money is on the line every one of these guys are a money man they're a money fighter five thousand dollars and they I first came here in 1973 yep. or 72 even my first time and I've loved it ever since oh Rambo should have moved out of the way but these two days and continue Three minutes remaining. Rambo really taking a beating now from young gun uh, one, two, he gets that shoulder up again. And now uh, young gun Brad Anderson grabbing a shock of hair there. And there's a shock right into Surprise. the... Oh, talk about shock. Woo, I've right got a boot chin. and it's got your name on it. Right in the chin. He really Rumble leveled. Very important time there. And yeah. a big right arm. And now the momentum. Big Mo is going in Rambo's favor. Oh, oh man. I forgot if they call that a mule kick, a wheel kick, or whatever it is, but it's a, quite a kick. And I don't know now that you got to hand it to Anderson there. I mean, you you know he to recover his, his bell that. his bell was rung, yeah. but he still had the presence of mind to get that shoulder up. <laughs> oh, DDT time. Oh, I don't think Anderson will be recovering. No, uh, you could count this one over one, two. Oh, he's got his boot up over that rope. He's he's learned well from yeah. the, from the four horsemen. I was just gonna say that's the only way he could get out of that one. He's learned very well. Maybe another one for good measure. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, oh, oh no. Ouch. Oh, that's a disqualification. You bet it is. Throwing Rambo. Rambo down the top rope like that. Rambo straddled across that top rope. What? Well, obviously, that's a disqualification. Uh, uh, Rambo has... I hope John's able to, re to recover from that. Well, Rambo is the winner, although he doesn't feel like one, but he Whoa, is. Not right now. He's the winner of this match. Probably five. thinking about a career change right now. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Now, here goes Anderson again with this noose. Look at this. The hangman noose. All right, he wants, he wants to put another notch in the noose. He's going to 
He's going to hang somebody out. Rambo, he's already hurt him. Oh, man, come on. Oh, how can somebody take pride well, in hurting Mark a man Sawyer like that? Larry All Oliver. right. Sawyer and Oliver in there coming to the rescue of their friend John Rambo. I'm glad they got there before they could do more harm to Rambo. I, the more he could do more harm again, to him than he did. Again, Bill, I, I don't know why they can let somebody like young gun Brad Anderson come into the ring with that noose when you know darn good well he's going to use it and try to hurt somebody. Put him out. Hey, he, he was trying to ruin his career. He wasn't yes, just he trying was. to hurt him. It's, beyond, it's, it's not funny when something like that happens. It certainly isn't. We will be back with more action at the House of Action right after this. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad. And we've got great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no monthly payments, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson, we've got great buys on audio components. Pioneer, $39. Yamaha, $49. JBL, $79. Or your choice, Techniques. 40-watt remote receiver, 5-disc carousel changer, only $179. That's Tom Peterson. My mother always told me, she said, good things come to those who wait. But I wonder, Taco Time has something really good, and I can get it right now. New Mexi Meal Value Platters with your choice of Taco Time entrees plus Mexican rice, refritos, chips, and a jalapeno pepper. Now that's a Mexi Meal. Mom, I'm sorry. I just can't wait. You tried all the rest. Now it's time for the best. Taco time. Wednesday. If you get one hit record out of this, you'll be able to write your own ticket. He was a used-up honky-tonk man. Taco Red. Think he's dying. An adventurer on the road to a dream. Can I make it to Nashville? You're gonna sing at the Grand Ole Opry? But sometimes dreams are made of flimsy stuff. All turn to dust. All turn to dust. Clint Eastwood and real-life son Kyle star in the bittersweet story Honky Tonk Man. Wednesday night at 8 on KBTV 12. It's Christmas time and the time is here to collect some food and give some cheer. Lots of action to the Northwest this coming week. Listen to this. Tomorrow, the 2nd, we're going to be in Coos Bay at Marshfield High School starting at 7 o'clock. And then Monday, the 3rd, in McMinnville at the Armory, bell time, 8 o'clock. Tuesday, the 4th of December, in the Dalles at the Armory, 7 o'clock bell time. And then Wednesday, the 5th, in Gresham at the Armory, starting at 7 o'clock. Thursday, the 6th, big card in Newburgh at the Armory at 7 o'clock. And then next Friday... The 7th of December, we're going to be in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds, 8 o'clock bell time, a big card, in fact, a title match. Well, I don't know if it's a title match, it's going to be a big card anyway, Barry. Barry, Barry Owen, you're up here for a very special reason. Well, one thing I'd like to do right now is to invite <laughs> this goofball right here. Uh, he calls himself <laughs> Young Gun, Young Gun Brad Anderson. Young gun Brad Anderson, you're tough. You just hurt a guy's leg. You tried to hang him. You really think you're something. Ever since you called and came in here, you wanted anybody at any time, any place, didn't matter. Well, as you remember, you signed a contract, an open contract. That has not been filled until today. Next Saturday night, we are going to have a match with you, the young gun, as you call yourself, and yes, you are tough, but we're going to bring our own Top Gun right back here next Saturday night. Whoa, Top Gun? Young Gun and Top Gun? <laughs> the shootout's going to be right here next Saturday night. Young Gun against the Top Gun, who everybody knows is one of the best there is. He's going to return to the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday night, and you're going to be the man to meet him right out in the squared circle. Hey, that's fine with me. There ain't but one gun around here, and that's the young gun. I ain't afraid of no top gun. Some punk that ain't been around here. He's gonna come here and think he can take me. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you what, top gun. When you meet young gun, you're gonna feel like you were hit by a machine gun. 
Oh, that's going to be quite a shootout, Barry, next Saturday next Saturday night, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Next Saturday night right here, and you can talk pretty tough, but <laughs> wait till Top Gun shows up in town, yeah. brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. That's, yeah, shootout at the uh, Portland Sports Arena Corral. Top Gun, Young Gun, son of a gun. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad. And we've got great gifts for everyone with no down payment, no monthly payment, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got great buys on VCRs. Remote video recorder, 188. Forehead on-screen remote, 248. Stereo on-screen remote, 278. Plus 100 free rental movies with every VCR in stock. That's Tom Peterson. You want the best. Toyota's truck blowout sale continues, and the deals are really heating up. Deals on the best-selling compact trucks in Portland. Blowout deals on 4x4s, 4Runners, 4x2s, even Prevy Vans. But hurry, with the largest selection ever and big factory dealer incentives, you got to buy right now. Yeah, you want the best, and we've got it right here in the great Northwest. For blowout deals, see your Portland Metro Toyota dealer before December 4th. It's delicious. Taste how they made oatmeal crispy. You got your raisins, good crunchy flakes, almonds. This is delicious. Taste how good, good for you can be. Should I be eating this? Oatmeal raisin crisp. Oh, I should be eating this. Taste how they made oatmeal crispy. You're very smart. Eat your breakfast. Taste what they've done. Oatmeal crisp or oatmeal raisin crisp. Oatmeal. There are great dates. On a scale from 1 to 10, it was a 15. And a date with disaster. My love connection date is a till of the high. Dates with fireworks. I asked him if he wanted to come back to my place. And dates with jerks. Kind of sounded like Dracula on the phone to me. But whatever the date, it's always fun. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> when you watch Love Connection. So have a ball with Love Connection. Every weeknight at 12 on KPTV 12. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. How about that for some news? A shootout next Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena. Young Gun Brad Anderson against Top Gun coming back. Whoa, mercy, to face Young Gun. Wow. All right, look who's going to be facing who. Dirty White Boy. And Larry Oliver are going to square off in the middle of the ring right here at the Portland Sports Arena. And we're going to go back out to the ring and get ready for the action. And you get ready for it, too. Let's go on out there right now. we got Larry Oliver in the ring. Don Owen, make the announcement. As Dirty White Boy makes his approach to the ring. And the Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 255 pounds from Texas, the Dirty White Boy. His opponent in this corner, 248 pounds from Oregon City, Larry Oliver. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, you can get your tickets at the flea market at the concession stand all day tomorrow are uh so they're going to be a big crowd here to the flea market sunday so you can get your tickets at that time thank you you see that security guard walking right by right there he walked right by bodyguard ray well i understand that that security guard son don knight is celebrating his birthday today we want to say happy birthday to don knight by golly your dad does a heck of a job right here at the portland sports arena don Uh, we talked about Brad Anderson coming from good stock, the four horsemen. Hey, how about Larry Oliver? Look at the stock he comes from, Rip Oliver, huh? So Larry has certainly progressed a great deal in the less than a year that he's been wrestling professionally. And right now he's taking on the likes of Dirty White Boy and doing a number there with an arm bar and working on that shoulder. Boy, I tell you, when the announcement was made, 
that Top Gun was coming back next Saturday night. And Top Gun hasn't been here for a long, long, long time. To face well, in fact, here's Brad. Hold on, hold on just a minute here, Don. All right, what's that? What's that? I was just back in the dressing room. <laughs> and I know I have an open contract, and I guess I have to wrestle everybody that is put up against me. But when they told me I was wrestling Top Gun, That's right. I thought it was going to be Tom Cruise. I didn't know it was this guy. Tom, been... Tom Cruise? Well, Top Gun. You, <laughs> you thought you were going to wrestle Tom. Do you know who Top Gun is? They just Top told Gun? me. Hey. It's not Tom Cruise. I got news for you. How do I get stuck like this? Everybody wants to see me get beat up around here. Well, hey, listen. Young gun Brad Anderson, you come into the Northwest, and you come in here with some pretty darn good credentials, great background, great history, great heritage, and you come in with your mouth, and you come in with that noose, and you got an open contract, and if you want to look at somebody to blame, you got to blame yourself for bringing on Top Gun, and you got to face him next Saturday well, night. Well, I didn't know this guy used to wrestle here at the belt, the champion, and everything. Jesus, what is this? Hey, the Top Gun is uh, he is a champion. He's been a champion here many times. Hey, well, if I have to wrestle him, you can guarantee I'll be here. But I'm getting tired of getting conned into things like this every week. And I'm getting sick of it. But uh, I'll be here next Saturday night, and I'll take on this Top Gun. And I'll, ta I'll do what it takes to beat this guy, too. And that's all I have to say. All right. And he, he, he puts down the microphone, and he's out of here. Uh, what do you want to bet he's going to be placing a long-distance call to Atlanta? And talking to uh, talking to the family, the four horsemen, and asking them, "Hey, what about this Top Gun? I thought it was Tom Cruise. <laughs> they're bringing it. <laughs> they're bringing in Top Gun, the pro wrestler. <laughs> well, uh, they better fill him in quickly. An uh, old Top Gun." Boy, a lot of folks here at the Portland Sports Arena tonight, including Piper's Pit Stop Girls. Look at that, huh? Oh, I tell you. That makes, you want, makes you want to take your transmission into Piper's Pit Stop right now. At 156th in the division. By the way, another reminder that Rowdy Roddy Piper, and it is Piper's Pit Stop, you know, Transmission Center, is donating that transmission overhaul to raise money for, an, during an auction, to raise money for little Jeremy who has a uh, a bone disease and he needs uh, there they are he needs a, uh, a wheelchair and if you would like some information on either the girls there you just saw or on that auction and the the donation that's taking place you can call Rowdy Piper's Pit Stop at 761-6631 761 and they'll tell you about the uh, a little Jeremy and that that auction and the donation they're making. If you want to ask about the girls, I'm sure they'll tell you about them too. Meanwhile, back out in the ring, dirty white boy Larry Oliver going at it. White boy misses. Oh, but Larry Oliver does not miss and clothesline lays him flat. Dirty white boy, and there's Larry getting him in position to go to suplex. Yeah. Now he's going to go over, lay across for the pin. One, two. Oh. DWB just throws him off of there. Another reminder. We'll talk about next Saturday night. That bunkhouse battle royal. $5,000 on the line. We found out now it will not be on TV. Dirty white boy trying to go for the pin, but I don't think. Oh, come on. Now what? He didn't. No, he didn't get him. The Bunkhouse Battle Royal next Saturday night will not be on television. So if you want to see that, then get on down here to the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday night. Bring a can of food with you. Because it is... We're trying to raise, we're trying to raise some money and food, rather, for the Sunshine Division, sponsored by the Portland Police Bureau. You bring a can of food and you get in for... A dollar less. You get a dollar off your admission. In fact, we got a lot of things to talk about as far as the Sunshine Division is concerned for next Saturday. And we'll tell you about it in just a little bit as Dirty White Boy gets himself disqualified. And he throws Larry Oliver over that top rope. He knows. Oh, come on now. You didn't go through the ropes. You went over the ropes. Everybody in this building see him jump over the top rope on his own. That ain't right. He jumped over the top rope on his own free will. No. 
You don't jump like that. That's a lie. You ask anybody out here, he jumped right over the top rope. Yeah, go ahead, Winner Rapper. Winner of the match, by disqualification, Larry Oliver. Grappler looked like he was going to square off against Sandy Barr, referee. Uh, yeah, do that, Grappler. Get yourself suspended and fined. All right, we will be back with more action from the House of Action right after these words. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad, and we have great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no payments, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got great buys on television. Choose Zenith, 19-inch, 227. Magnavox, 25-inch remote, 337. RCA, 25-inch remote, 397. Zenith, 27-inch remote, 497. Plus free delivery today. That's Tom Peterson. When using your computer terminal, do you suffer from eye strain, eye fatigue, blurred vision, and soreness? Medical research now shows that long-term exposure to computer terminals may cause cataracts and retinal damage. Now, American International Optical has developed CompuVision, non-prescription eyeglasses which sharpen images, reduce eye fatigue due to glare, and protect your eyes against permanent damage. CompuVision eyeglasses block 100% of the ultraviolet rays emitted by your computer screen. CompuVision lenses are also available in magnified powers or as clip-ons for those who wear prescription eyeglasses. CompuVision glasses are just $39.95. Call now and we'll give you this special cleaning cloth and this attractive crush-proof case free. A total value of $75, now just $39.95. CompuVision offers an absolute money-back guarantee. If you're not perfectly satisfied with your CompuVision glasses, return them within 30 days for a full refund. Call CompuVision today at 1-800-368-2444. I'll be in women's underwear. Mike's little brother is getting out of line. If you need the kids smacked around a little bit, I'm happy to start. And now that Mom's back raising the children... I got a tattoo. Betty has far too much freedom, and it's coming to a halt. Can she handle the job? No, nah, no. Nah. I just assumed that Dad jumped in and took over like he always does. I certainly did not. Yeah, Daddy's just backing off so Mom doesn't feel like a failure. On the next... <laughs> Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Monday night at 5 on KPTV 12. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. Well, Al Madrill, looks like you brought your sweetheart with you. She's kind of skinny. Nice hair. Hey, you just mind your own business, cuz. What this is means when we have that bunkhouse battle royal, I'm going to mop the floor with all them guys like Steve Dahl, Scotty the Body, and Rambo, and anybody else that gets in my way, baby. We're going to take care of you real easy. Let me tell you something, Don Cos. I want you to explain these rules to me one more time about this bunkhouse battle royal next Saturday night. Well, I'll tell you, Grappler, you must think sometimes the wrestling gods have really got it against you. First of all, you got a street fight tonight. Next Saturday night, you got a bunkhouse battle royal. It's a come as you are. Anything goes. You can bring anything into the ring, wear anything in that you want. Well, let me tell you something. I can bring anything into the ring. The rule book's out the window. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's $5,000 on the line, brother. And the grappler likes that hard cash. And I can promise all of the contestants one thing right now. When I come out, I ain't coming out empty-handed. I promise you that, brother. Because I'm going to come out and somebody is going to get a taste of the Breakfast Club 101, brother. I'm going in there and I'm not leaving until I leave $5,000 richer and you can count on it. Let me tell you something. Mr. Grapper, I plan to win that 5000 bucks. And if anybody gets in the way of the dirty white boy, they get an accent upside the head. I got plans for a new motorcycle, and that five grand's gonna come in handy. Hey, is anybody for the... Wait a minute here, wait a minute. Take it easy. Hey, I want that $5,000, and right here, I'm gonna put every contestant in this thing right here, and I'm gonna dump them over the top hey. rope, and I'm gonna hey. take that five grand and go hunting for an elk. Hush, quiet. Listen. Listen, when me and you together, brother, we take this garbage can, we take this basket, uh, we can kick some butt, uh, and we'll uh, spend 
$2,500 a piece. Yeah, that sounds good, huh? Yeah. It's going to be ours. That's right. It's Saturday night, ah. and you can't count on it. I guess that would buy a lot of cereal, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Bunkhouse Battle Royal, $5,000 on the line. You can see what they're planning on bringing into the ring, and it will not be on television. So make your plans now to be here next Saturday night. We'll be back with more action right after this. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad. And we've got great gifts for everyone with no down payment, no monthly payment, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got great buys on VCRs. Remote video recorder, 188. Forehead on-screen remote, 248. Stereo on-screen remote, 278. Plus 100 free rental movies with every VCR in stock. That's Tom Peterson. of your favorites, M&M's and peanut butter are together at last. Introducing M&M's peanut butter chocolate candies, pure milk chocolate, real peanut butter, your favorite chocolate candy, now with creamy peanut butter, new M&M's peanut butter chocolate candies, the best thing to happen to peanut butter since jelly. I... I guess enjoyment and I get a high out of seeing um, these students enjoy themselves doing something that they enjoy doing. Uh, just looking at their faces makes me have a big grin on my face when they have one of theirs. Dumb white boy sometimes. What's a nice boy from the suburbs? Gee, you okay? Run! Oh, boys like this. <laughs> With a half pipe, Mr. T. I ain't no boy and I don't drink no milk. I do. That stands for trouble. I can't drive. Oh, no! Big trouble. Big shots. We are bad. We are bad. Big shots. Monday night at 8 on KPTV 12. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. We're back, and we're ready. Bill Prescott, this is the one I've been waiting for tonight. This is kind of like our second main event. Our first one, of course, that street fight coming up later. But right now, we've got Al Madrill and Bart Sawyer. A lot riding on this match oh, tonight. Oh, mercy. Now, this, this is the one... This is the one where you should be here tonight because you might you might get some money. If Bart Sawyer can beat Al Madrill, then Al Madrill has to hand out $1,001 bills to all the kids in the uh, arena tonight. And the kids get to come up to the Fiesta Garden sign and bust Al's pinata if you catch my drift. That's right, and it's full of candy. So candy and money, oh my goodness. Next Saturday night, another reminder, big shootout. Young Gun, Brad Anderson against... Top Gun coming back to the Northwest to take on in a, a it'll be a son of a gun shootout there. Also a bunkhouse battle royal, five thousand dollars on the line. Come as you are, wear anything you if want. You're take ever any pick one night of the year to come out to the Portland Sports Arena. Next Saturday is it. The bunkhouse battle royal will not be on television. It is not to be missed. Be here next Saturday. Let's go out to the ring. Get ready for Sawyer and the Then you can't change that. Like a scream and chase to the deadly face in the Cadillac. No, it's not a fun. I've been wrestling Evan at the Portland Sports Arena. <laughs> oh, look at Al Madrill. He's got his little pinata there, and he's, he's caressing it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner... 238 pounds from Los Angeles, the Latin lover, Al Madrill. His opponent in this corner, 212 pounds, Kansas City, Bart Sawyer. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that all kids will be free if come with an adult two weeks from tonight. On the 15th, 
Also, Top Gun is flying into Portland and has been signed to meet the Top Gun Brad Anderson here next Saturday night. Should be a wild one. Also, we're going to have a, a bunkhouse battle royal next, next week in which everything goes, everybody in the ring for a $5,000 prize purse, everything goes in the ring. Bunkhouse brawl. Okay, you old buzzer promoter, you can get out of here now and let a real man talk for a change. Now, Sandy Barr, here's a piñata full of candy, and it's mine. I'm not worried about it. I'm showing you what kind of man that I am. Also, I said if I lost, I'd give these people thousand dollars of my money. Here it is. So there. And I tell you what, if you ever let those brats in here again free, I'm going to have a sit down strike in this ring and I'll stay here for three weeks. I don't care, Don Owens, but you're not having that match. You're not having those brats in here free. Well, you can see Bart Sawyer leading the cheer now. Yeah, they're yelling Baldy at Al Madrill. Well, he gave, he gave the money over to the referee. He gave that uh, pinata. I got to go. Uh, Prescott, uh, hook nose, slide out, boy. Let uh, a man take the mic, knows how to talk, and knows what he's talking about. Well, Bill Prescott was sitting here beside me, and now the grappler has come in here. What'd you do to Bill? You didn't have to do that. I run that hook nose off. He don't deserve to be out here. He don't know nothing about wrestling. I just yeah. want to say something. All right. I've heard rumors. Guy, the body's going around telling everybody in the Northwest that I'm afraid to wrestle him. That's right. Well, it's like this, Cos. I want to set the record straight right now. I ain't afraid to wrestle nobody, and not Sky the body for sure. I done splattered his nose all over his face. His face. Introduced him to the world of professional wrestling the right way. I proved what I had to do to Sky the body. He knows how tough I am. And it's like this, Scotty. I have no more to prove to you. I'm not scared of you, and you best stay out of my business. All right, well, those are your words to Scotty the Body, and I'm sure Scotty has a few word shows, choice words for you, too, but I think he'd rather let his action speak louder than his words. Well, I'm going to say something right now. You can mark this down, write it down as record. I'm sending Doug Masters out tonight to take care of Scotty. Now, if he wants to, so by some chance, luck out and get past Masters, I promise you one thing right now. Next Saturday night, that bunkhouse battle royal is going to be off TV for $5,000. Come as you are, no rules in this match. <clears throat> I'm going to take Sky the body, and he's going to be my number one object. I'm going to catch him, and I promise you, Scotty, when I get through splattering your nose, I'm going to breakfast club you, boy, all over that ring out there, and give you what you deserve. So write it down as records. It'll be done next Saturday, cause. Now let this geek hook nose, Bill Prescott, get back up here and tell these people something else if he's thinking of anything. Oh, well, what a nice guy. Come on, Bill. Get, Here, clean off the microphone before you use it. Uh, I uh, hate him. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to the club. And I don't I mean to... Uh, he's bigger than I am. And I don't, yeah, and I don't mean the breakfast club. Next Saturday night, what the grappler was saying, that bunkhouse battle royal, the grappler is going to have his tunnel vision aimed at Scotty the Body. And he wants to he wants to make Scotty the body the victim of his breakfast club. If the grappler can stay in long enough. Well, it remains to be seen. Now you won't see it on TV. You have to see it here in person. Bunk house battle royal. Look at that leap block by Bart Sawyer. There goes Al Madrill. Oh! What a move by Sawyer. Have a nice trip, Al Madrill. Yeah, you don't have to pack your bags for that one. See you next fall. <laughs> Oh, that's I've been good. hanging out with you oh, too long. Oh, my goodness. You, you, you use that stuff on KUFO? <laughs> Very right? seldom. Yeah, I can I save the best stuff for here. Yeah. Uh, all right. As soon as I get some, I'll tell you. All right. Remember, if Sawyer goes on to beat Madrill, it's a thousand one dollar bills to the kids, and it's handy from Madrill's uh, pinata. Well, as I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted, both men have a lot of stake here, but it seemed to me that Madrill has more to lose. I mean, a thousand dollars is a hefty chunk of change for any man. Yes, it is. You know, I, you plus think, the humiliation. Do you think there's really candy in that inside that pinata? 
Being as a doubt in the drills, I'd hate to think. I, I hope so. I think there's Colada in there. Uh, <laughs> Pinata Colada. Colada. All, right. All right. We got to get a show together. Okay. Uh, hey, listen. Speaking of uh, outside, there. Uh, that's a that's a pretty good show for you, right out there, flat on his stomach. Al Madrill and Bart Sawyer using a little universal language. Tomorrow. All right, now listen up. Tomorrow, December the 2nd, we're going to be in Coos Bay at Marshfield High School starting at 7 o'clock. Monday, December the 3rd, 8 o'clock, McMinnville Armory. A title match in McMinnville. I understand there's also a title match in Coos Bay. So there's two big ones for you right back to back. Monday the 3rd in McMinnville at the Armory. By the way, you can call. Going for? I'm you, sorry. you can call reservations 472-2882. Madrill, what's he got? That uh, he was fidgeting around his uh, all his favorite hiding places. Oh yeah, uh, he's going to resort to that foreign object if he can. Wednesday. Did you say Tuesday the Dallas? I said yeah. the Tuesday, okay. Tuesday, December the fourth, 7 p.m. The Dallas. Advance tickets at Phil Clint Book Seller. And Wednesday, December the fifth. 7 o'clock, Gresham Armory, advance tickets, Mr. Formal. Thursday, December the 6th, 7 p.m., Newburgh Armory, sponsored by Newburgh Chamber of Commerce, advance tickets, Newburgh Chamber of Commerce. Now, before that, we've got an advertiser of the week winner in Newburgh oh. on Thursday. So you can meet Bart Sawyer Five minutes on Thursday. Remaining. Five minutes. We'll be at the Pizza Works from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. Go by there, then head to the matches. Pizza Works at 2205 Forza Road in Newburgh. In Newburgh. Oh, great. Well, Al Madrill is meeting Bart Sawyer right now. The hard way. Out, out he goes. You think I he's think, got... I think Al Madrill is crying, but I'm not sure. You think he's got some lower back problems there? I think he's got some uh, lower boot problems. Oh, <laughs> here comes that foreign object. Oh, yes. Well, before he gets back in the ring, another reminder that Friday, December 7th, 8 o'clock, Lane County Fairgrounds in Eugene... Big 10-man battle royal, $1,500 prize. A ticket, 484-0840. Al Madrill's got that foreign object in his right hand in plain view to us, but out of view of referee Sandy Barr. All right, now where's he got it now? Has he got it in his hand? Yeah, it's in his right hand. Okay, I tell you, Madrill is magician. He is a sleight-of-hand artist. I wish he'd disappear. A... Yeah, yeah. That'd be a really great trick. Well, now he's hiding it in the turnbuckle. Oh, he's got it in the turnbuckle, yep. And of course, the fans at ringside here can see what he's doing. They're pointing and yelling to Sandy Barr. He's got the thing in the turnbuckle, Sandy. Meanwhile, Sawyer is suspicious, but not sure. Oh, the so we got another match in the ring. Sawyer must not know where it is. He, apparently, he, did, he he couldn't see what uh, Madrill was doing. Or he'd go over there right now and take that thing. Uh, right across the back. There is no way that Sawyer wants to give up that Fiesta guard either. Yeah, he's, no. he's dedicated that to the kids. No, that's a... Into the turnbuckle, face first he goes. A oh, hard smash into the midsection. That's a great TV showcase. It'd be great to see somebody with some integrity have it. You bet. Oh, flying high again. A back body drop, and he bottomed out there. And here comes a whip. Into the ropes goes Madrill. Coming up. Oh, beautiful close up. <laughs> and there he goes in again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he missed with that one. That took it out of him, Bill. And there goes the drill over to the turnbuckle. Oh, he didn't get a chance to use that. He didn't get a chance to use that. Oh, wait a minute now. The drill threw Sawyer right on top of the referee. Sawyer finds the object. Oh, yeah. Is that fighting fire with fire, Bill? Oh, we got... Sawyer, Madrill going at it. What? You can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. And that iron bar, or whatever that thing is. Atomic, no, no, no. That was just an atomic ball. And he's got it pinned. He's got it. Oh. I hate when this happens. He was using that foreign object, Bill. And then he was, and then he was, he was using the, the people at ringside are saying he was using the tight. Now you see, he jammed that, he jammed that, that iron bar, whatever that, that, that foreign object is, jammed it right in the throat of, of the Bart Sawyer. Money, baby. You props don't get no money tonight. Uh, this isn't right. Sawyer, 
Sawyer can hardly breathe. He took that. And no penalty! I had a feeling uh, Madrill would weasel his way out of this. Oh, thing yeah. Now. Oh, oh, I don't think it's over yet. Sawyer knows exactly what happened. They, oh, he's got the pinata. Well, now we're going to find out what's inside the pinata. I, I have a feeling. Sandy Barr, referee, holding Al Madrill. And the pinata is being torn apart. Look at that. Hey, the candy store is open. Oh, baby. Look, the candy man is here. Bart Sawyer throwing out candy to the kids at the expense of uh, Al Madrill's pinata. Or what used to be a pinata. I just wish Madrill would have to pass out that thousand dollars too. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, well, Sandy Barr did not see what happened. I doubt if even Sawyer saw exactly what happened, but he knows what happened. He took that that iron bar, that metal bar of some it's kind. A, it's about this big. It's some sort of a metal object. Yeah. It's easy to hide, and and Madrill you know. jammed it right in his throat. The man couldn't breathe, and Madrill pinned him. Well. Madrill gets the uh, victory, but Sawyer really gets a moral victory. Fortunately, Madrill suffered a little humiliation out there when yeah. the pinata got smashed to pieces. Yeah. We will be right back with more right after this. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad, and we have great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no payments, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got a great buy on a Sanyo audio rack system. 100 watts of power, dual cassette, equalizer, CD player, three-way speakers, everything for only $4.99. You save $100. That's Tom Peterson's. Take the steps that set the wheels in motion for a good-paying career, driving trucks. There's a big demand for truck drivers today, and in eight short weeks with commercial training services, you can be on your way to the best job you've ever had. You'll enjoy loads of freedom, variety, and responsibility as a truck driver. With our excellent reputation, our graduates get hired. Financial aid is available. Classes are held days, nights, and weekends. Call commercial training services today and join the people who move America. Dennis gets a job as a waiter. No, please. Oh, thanks, Mr. Pappas. I say, this is going to hit the spot. Glad for you. And he's not too happy when the other kids find out. We're going to make this place a regular hangout. Dennis isn't sure he can handle the embarrassment. I'm wearing a paper hat. Can Charlie convince him to stick it out? Finally, my fries are here. On the next Head of the Class. Head of the Class, Monday night at 5.30 on KPTV 12 secrets are being revealed at OMSI. Sources say their new exhibit is all fake. It's true. Each item is a carefully designed fake. It's Hollywood's best special effects from movies like Alien, Ghostbusters, King Kong, and Roxanne. Plus, the California Raisins up close and personal. Go behind the scenes at this Hollywood special effects exhibit now at OMSI. It's magical. magical. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. Hey, you know what time it is, baby. But right now, I want to see, and I want you to see, Sawyer, what's left of that piñata. That's fine and dandy with me, boy. You can throw all the candy to the press all you want. And you press are so excited, because in two weeks, you're going to get in here free. But I'll tell you what. I myself, I'm going to have a sit-down strike in the middle of the ring, and I'm going to collect all your money, so you be prepared for that. Now, I want to tell everybody where they're going to see the greatest wrestlers in the world. Tomorrow, Sunday, in Coos Bay at 7 p.m. at the Marshville High School, a big show there, big card in Coos Bay. Monday in McMinnville, also at the Armory, a big show there. Steve Dahl is going to be in McMinnville. That's at 8 p.m. Tuesday, we go on to the Dells. That's at 7 p.m. Big show there. The wrecking crew is going to be in the Dells. That's going to be all right. Wednesday, we move on to Gresham at the Armory. 
That's also 7 p.m. I'm going to be in Gresham just for you people. Then Thursday we go on to Newburgh. We are in the Newburgh Armory at 7 p.m. And Friday night in Eugene at 8 p.m. There's a battle royal there. A lot of money involved. Also, next week, you people saw what the Rectum crew were going to bring in. You saw what they were all about. And I'm going to mop the floor with some of these guys here. So what do you guys think about that? First off, I think you better get a bigger stick, Madrill. Then we'll tell you something. Next Saturday night right here, with $5,000, Buckhouse down the line. They can bring all the shopping carts, all the trash cans, anything they want to ring. Because I tell you what, me and the body, we're ready for business. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! This is how the owners prepare for a Buckhouse back for $5,000. I'll tell you what, dirty white boy, let me shut this thing off here. Dirty white boy, you think you're gonna fix your motorcycle? Well, I think you better prepare to put some training wheels on it instead. Get out of here, Leatherface. What do you got? Speaking of Leatherface, I got the boot out. What are you bringing? A loaded burrito? Just don't worry about it. I'll tell you what, that's next week. And one thing I do know that these idiots didn't say, it's off television because we're going to take care of all three of you once and for all. Hey, we're going to see if we count out the money. I'm telling you something. Equalizer, bring your shopping cart, baby, because we're going to be wheeling you guys back and forth to the dressing room all night long, baby. Beautiful. It's over. Get out of here. And I'll tell you what, Sawyer. It's not over yet, baby. It's just begun. Anyway, it's all for the fiesta this time. We'll see you next week, baby. The Latin lover. <laughs> It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad. And we've got great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no monthly payments, and no interest till June 1991. Mitsubishi Home Theater System. Save $100. 110 watt audio system with CD player. Forehead Hi Fi video recorder. 26 inch remote stereo TV. Everything only $18.95 plus free delivery today. That's Tom Peterson. Once upon a time in television land, there was a regular riot of a show. A laugh a minute, and the people were very, very happy. Then suddenly, it disappeared. But stop that bus. The lost episodes of the hilarious Honeymooners are back. Oh, boy, are you gonna get yours. So, ba 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 boom with Ralph, Alice, Norton, and Trixie on the Honeymooners. Weeknights at 12.30 on KPTV 12. What are you running here, a Bowery mission or something? I'll be in women's underwear. Mike's little brother is getting out of line. If you need the kids smacked around a little bit, I'm happy to start. And now that Mom's back raising the children... I got a tattoo. Betty, you have far too much freedom, and it's coming to a halt. Can she handle the job? No, nah, no. Nah. I just assumed that Dad jumped in and took over like he always does. I certainly did not. Yeah, Daddy's just backing off so Mom doesn't feel like a failure. On the next... <laughs> Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Monday night at 5 on KPTV 12. For some, the road to college isn't as easy as it looks. Dave, what's keeping you? Come on, Dave. Let's go. We got class. Don't let lack of funding become a hidden obstacle for a deserving student. Look in Sunday's newspaper for this 20-page Tom Peterson insert, and you can buy this microwave oven for only $59. And we are back at the House of Action. Yes, indeed. It's been full of action tonight. It's going to be full of action tomorrow, uh, next Saturday night, too. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready right now. Scotty the Body coming into the ring to get ready. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be some kind of a match. There he is. And he's, he's going to be facing Doug Masters. Doug Masters and Scotty the Body. Next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 235 pounds from Oklahoma, Doug Masters. His opponent in this corner, 
238 pounds from New Jersey, Scotty the Body. All right, Scotty the Body. And Doug Masters. Now, this should be a very interesting match. Remember, Scotty the Body always built himself as a professional wrestling expert. And at times, he certainly did prove that. But I tell you, I've got to talk about Scotty the Body in, in a way other than professional wrestling right now. Every so often, we, we mention the, the benevolency of these professional wrestling athletes and how they give of themselves outside the ring to needy causes to help people to, and to help kids as and especially the kids and uh, you'll find them going over to various hospitals and uh, to various events and fundraisers well i'll tell you something about next saturday december the 8th the sunshine wow well scotty the body obviously going to work right away on doug masters the sunshine division sponsored by the portland police bureau and starting their Christmas food drive, their holiday food drive. And they're going to have a, a, a big drive at the convention center in the south parking lot next Saturday. Starting at 1030, you can find Steve Dahl and John Ramble there. And starting at 3 o'clock, Scotty the Body and Bart Sawyer will be there. That's at the convention center, the new convention center, the south parking lot. As they do their part in helping the Sunshine Division and they're a hand food drive. Now we're going to make that a Sunshine Division day and night because you already know that next Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena, if you bring a can of food, then you get a dollar off your admission to the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday night. No perishables, please. Just canned goods only. And we're going to help collect food for the homeless we don't want anyone to go hungry this holiday season. So, well, by golly, thanks to the efforts of our pro wrestling athletes, and you folks, too. Well, this is, we can make it a great holiday for a lot of needy people. All right, Scotty the Body coming up and flying down. A flying body press on Doug Masters, and Masters kicks out. Another reminder, next Saturday night. Wow, listen to this. A shootout. At the arena, <laughs> we got young gun Brad Anderson, who had an open contract and it's been filled for next Saturday night because Top Gun is coming in for a big shootout. Next Saturday night, young gun and Top Gun. <laughs> oh, son of a gun, man. Scotty the body just wrapped his head right into that iron post. Also, we've got that bunkhouse battle royal. $5,000 on the line. Come as you are. Anything goes. And you already know what some of these guys are going to bring into the ring, including a chainsaw for crying out loud. Two weeks from tonight, December 15th, all kids admitted free when accompanied by a paying adult. To the delight of Al Madrill, I'm quite sure. And there they are, Piper's Pit Stop Girls. Oh, I think I feel my transmission slipping. Got to get it into Roddy Piper's Pit Stop Transmission Center at 156th and Southeast Division. Boy, if his work is as good as they look, business is going to be great. <laughs> All right, Doug Masters. Oh, he's really putting it to Scotty the body, and Scotty takes his body outside right now. Oh, he's just going to sit down there. Yeah, Scotty trying to crawl back in the ring. And he does. Masters is right there. All these men are going to be involved in that bunkhouse battle royal next Saturday night. You know, we talk about these athletes giving of themselves. They have, every one of them has asked me to mention, to mention about Joshua Shore. 22 months old, Joshua Shore, he's 22 months old, and he's suffering from cancer. He's at University Hospital, and if you can say a little prayer tonight for Joshua Shore, they certainly appreciate that, and we would too. 
Got to the body. Got him pinned. As well. Hook, he did it. Yes, sir. He did it. Scotty the body. 22 Boy, that... seconds. Scotty the body. Scotty the body. Yeah. He put some moves on Doug Masters, and he showed why he is a professional wrestling expert. Scotty the body victorious over Doug Masters. We'll be back with our big main event street fight right after this. It's our happy holiday sale. That's right, Dad, and we have great gifts for everyone. Plus, no money down, no payments, and no interest till June 1991. And at Tom Peterson's, we've got a great buy on a Sanyo audio rack system. 100 watts of power, dual cassette, equalizer, CD player, freeway speakers, everything for only $4.99. You save $100. That's Tom Peterson's. The men's warehouse has many of the same designer suits sold elsewhere, but for a lot less. Like this suit, our price $260. At Meyer and Frank, the same designer suit sold for $375. I guarantee it. Some people think Social Security is just for retirement. But if a serious illness or injury puts you out of work, Social Security can pay disability. Even if you're years from retirement. And it'll pay your family survivor's benefits if somehow your life gets cut short. So what benefits can you expect? Find out by calling 1-800-2345-SSA. For your own personal earnings and benefit estimate statement, Social Security, it's not just for retirement. It's for life. <laughs> Hey, your gang rambling right here with Officer Tony and Santa Claus from Z100 and the Galleria Panda Bear. Join us for a family holiday Sunday, December 2nd at the Galleria. It's a festival of fun and magic in the holiday spirit. There'll be music, dancing, clowns. Ho, ho, ho. I'll be there, too. Say, and if you take the bus or Max train down and bring along a can of food for the Oregon Food Bank, TriMet will give you a return ticket free. That's right. Family holiday Sunday, December 2nd, downtown at the Galleria. Did you want to be a doctor when you were little? Well... Yeah. You would have been the best doctor, Grandpa. Oh, you think so? <laughs> it's too late for some dreams, but not for others. Well, you can see this, uh, this pinata was gutted. But all the candy is gone. Oh, well, got it. I was hoping we could, uh... Could have gotten some of that candy out of there. Well, we're getting ready now for our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, a street fight. A street fight tag match. On one side, we've got the wrecking crew, the grappler, and the equalizer. On the other side, we've got the team of Steve Dahl and his partner, Crusher Norton. This is going to be some kind of a fight. Oh, mercy. I can hear you can feel the tension. In the arena right now, the electricity shooting through this place as the wrecking crew approaches the ring right there. And not far behind them will be Dahl and Norton. Don Owen will make the announcement of this very special main event match. Go ahead, Don. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that next Saturday night, a big bunkhouse battle royal where everything goes Use anything you want, nothing bars, for a $5,000 prize first. There they come. Steve Dahl, Crusher Norton. Ladies and gentlemen, the final event of the evening will be one fall to a finish. One fall to a finish. This is a team match. Okay, you ready, Sandy? This is a street fight. This is... This is... This, we can uh, consider this kind of a warm-up, I guess, to that Bunkhouse Battle Royal. If these guys make it to the Bunkhouse Battle Royal next Saturday night. I gotta get past this street fight. Everybody in there, everybody in there at the same time, and there they go. All right, you just follow this thing. Follow it. You got Norton on the equalizer. You got Steve Dahl on the grappler. 
Grappler just, just hurt his hand. Norton's in there fighting with an injured arm to begin with. And it looks like Steve Dahl's got the buckle. He's got the belt and buckle. Did he take it off of the grappler? And the grappler just grabbed the chain. Oh, mercy. You know, you hear us talking about all these, all these towns that we uh, are in during the week. And if you have a club or a school or a group or church, an organization of any kind that you'd like to raise money for, you can book professional wrestling in your area to raise that money. All you have to do is call Barry Owen at area code 503-484-0840, and he'll uh, tell you how to book pro wrestling into your area to raise money for charity. And standing beside me right now, Oh, you're going to have the fight of your life next Saturday night. Top Gun coming in to face Young Gun. Hey, you know, that's, that's, that's something that I'm going to have to take care of. But what I want to come here and talk about is this Battle Royal. I was back here with my man. You've seen Doug every week. A man, I believe, has lost a little bit. He's back there. He has a chain. He says he's going to chain himself up to a pole. And he's not going to let anybody pull him out of the corner or pull, throw him over the rope or nothing. This man right here, is he's demented now. I don't know what's gotten into him. He's gone crazy. I'm going to win the $5,000. I'm sorry if I have to get it, find the combinations of the lock or the key. I'm going to win it, baby. Let me hear what you got to say about it, though. Like I said, brother, I'm going to bring a chain out there. I'm going to lock myself to that ring out there. And nobody's going to move me because I'm going to go home $5,000 richer, you see. And another thing, Rambo, you might be sneaky. You got anybody, you might be sneaky. But I might just be that much sneakier because I'm gonna, I might come out with camouflage followers on my face. I might even have different color hair, brother. You never know. Then we'll go home $5,000 richer. Right. Well, I wish you the best of luck, but everybody already knows I'm going to be the one that goes home with the $5,000. All right, well, it's going to be every man for himself next Saturday night. Bunkhouse Battle Royal, $5,000 on the line. You heard what they had to say. You've seen uh, the interviews before tonight. Uh, we got to have chainsaws in there, garbage cans, a Bunkhouse Battle Royal. Anything goes, come as you are, take anything you want into the ring, wear anything in that you want. Oh, mercy. Right now, anything is going right in this street fight. Look, everybody in there, Dahl, Grappler, Equalizer, Norton, down goes Grappler. And oh, then Dahl is using that belt buckle right in the face of the Grappler. Into the ropes he goes. Come off, and down goes Grappler. Well, we got a little bit of control in there anyway. We've got Norton and Equalizer in their own corners. And Dahl, what's he what's using? I couldn't tell what he was using on the grappler. Now, the grappler's got the belt, and he's going to choke Steve Dahl with it. These street, this street fight, well, we tried to tell you, it's not a pretty thing. It gets real ugly. Because it is a, it's, a, it's an anything goes kind of match. Well, it's a street fight, just like you'd have in a back alley someplace. And the grappler using uh, Steve Dahl's boot to beat him, and now he tosses the boot to the equalizer. Equalizer uh, uses Dahl's boot. And Dahl really taking a beating there. He's got to get over there and make the tag with his partner, Crusher Norton, because right now Dahl is getting crushed. Well, that's one way of turning the tide. Equalizer goes down, writhing in pain, and to Steve Dahl trying to make his way over to make the tag. Well, he just tagged Equalizer with his boot. Now he nails it. Grappler, and Grappler goes outside. That's a tough old cowboy boot he's got there. And he just laid it into the throat of Equalizer. A lot of the things you're seeing in there right now, these men would be disqualified for in a, in a regular match. There's nothing regular or normal about a street fight. Pressure comes down hard on Equalizer. And Equalizer, boy, I think Norton's the great Equalizer right now. Did you see Equalizer? He picked up Norton. He picked up Norton. Equalizer, a big man in his own right. But Norton, my word, and Mort Norton's a, a mountain. But Equalizer picked him up. And now he makes a tag with Grappler. Grappler comes in. And now Grappler's biting. He's biting on the forehead of, of the Crusher Norton. Norton's got to go to the hospital and get himself a tetanus shot or a distemper shot or something. Maybe a rabies shot. Uh, 
Well, we told you it was going to get pretty ugly. And these guys are pulling out all stops. And look at Grappler. Man, he is just winding up and delivering right in the face of Crusher Norton. Makes the tag now with Equalizer. Equalizer in there. Oh! Boy, this is as much of a beating as I've ever seen Crusher Norton take. And he is really taking it. He's, he's feeling this. End of the ropes goes. Equalizer and down goes Equalizer. Tremendous clothesline smash by Norton. Now Norton using the turnbuckle, the middle turnbuckle on Equalizer. Dahl comes in and picks up where uh, Norton left off. Drags Equalizer out to the middle of the ring. There's a right hand. Now he's going to whip him. There goes a whip. No reversal. Into the ropes goes Dahl. Coming. Oh, man. Equalizer about took Dahl's head off with that big boot. You see that? Oh, man. Dahl is hurt. He's hurt. And Grappler has got his. He's stepping on his stomach, keeping Dahl down. Oh, Dahl has got to be. Oh, he's really got to be hurting out there. He took that boot right smack in the face. Grappler points, oh, he, he pointed to Equalizer, get the chain, and slams Dahl face first into the chain that Equalizer put over the turnbuckle. Oh, Dahl face first, isn't that going to do it again? Oh, come on. No, no, oh, he did it. Slamming his gone. face. Eight minutes gone. Into that chain-covered turnbuckle. And there goes Dahl through the ropes outside. And Dahl is really hurting now. He's been kicked in the face. He's had his face slammed into the turnbuckle with a chain over it. And now Grappler grabs him by the hair, pulling him back into the ring. Another reminder, next Saturday night, Bunkhouse Battle Royal. Oh, man. Well, they both, they both got it on that one. Dahl and Grappler. Dahl makes the tag. Here comes Norton. Oh! Right hand. Oh, man. Norton is cleaning house. Norton is a raging bull in there. And he's pulverizing Grappler. Throws him into Dahl. Dahl goes into the referee. And Norton goes into the turnbuckle. And Norton is hurt. Norton is hurt. And now the wrecking crew is teaming, is ganging up on Crusher Norton, and they're going after that. They're going to go after the injured arm. Now they're going to create another injury. And here comes Steve Dahl. And he's got Grappler. Grappler raked right across the face. Raked him across the face. A double whip into the ropes. Oh, they miss with a clothesline. And Steve Dahl comes back. And he takes them both out with a clothesline. He took both the grappler and equalizer out. What a tremendous move by Steve Dahl. There they go again. Into the ropes goes Dahl. And Dahl hangs on. And the wrecking crew. Oh, talk about backfires. It's not exactly going according to plan for the wrecking crew. But now there they go again, ganging up. Teaming up on Steve Dahl. Into the ropes goes Dahl. <laughs> Dahl comes off the rope. He's fighting the wrecking crew by himself right now. Norton is hurt. Ten minutes He's gone. outside. Ten minutes gone. He's got the grappler by his good hand, his good arm. In the meantime, in the meantime, Steve Dahl's got the sleeper hold on equalizer. Norton, Norton's keeping grappler at bay. Here comes Dirty White Boy. He's interfering in this. In this match, breaks it up, jumps on Steve Dahl. Dahl had the sleeper hold going on the equalizer. Here comes Sawyer. Sawyer's got Dirty White Boy. Equalizer. And, oh, my word, we got a bunkhouse battle royal right now. Norton trying to keep equal, a grappler at bay. Now we got, well, oh, no, we got Doug Masters in there, Dirty White Boy, Larry Oliver's in there, Bart Sawyer, equalizer, Steve Dahl. Here comes the people. How do they recognize? What are they doing there? Oh, that's young gun Brad Anderson. And there's Al Madrill. And there's Scotty the Fly. Oh, boy, did you see Scotty? He kicked young gun. Oh, man. 
And, and uh, Scotty and the grappler going at it. Look at that. Look at that. Dirty white boy, Larry Oliver. Well, you just you follow the action yourself. Now, this is too much to call. Yes, it, yeah. You're going to see this place erupt, explode next Saturday night. That bunkhouse battle royal with $5,000 on the line. You're going to see these same guys in there, only with a lot more weapons. Chainsaws, chains, garbage cans, shopping carts, anything and everything. Boy. I have no I have no idea who has won this match. I don't think anybody cares. Well. Equalizer, young gun, Al Madrill, Grappler, Dirty White Boy, they're all they're all making uh, an exodus out of here. Referee Sandy Bar is disqualified both times to no contest. They exited right on out of here and it's been uh, it's been declared a no contest but boy it looked like a contest to me and uh, hopefully Crusher Norton's arm is going to be okay well he took a beating man oh man next Saturday night bunkhouse battle royal white five thousand dollars on the line next Saturday night young gun against top gun bring a canned food item and get a dollar off the admission next Saturday night this is Don Cost thank you very much for joining us from the house of action this has been Portland Wrestling. We'll see you here next Saturday night. And another reminder that next Saturday night when we do see you here, you're going to see a whole lot of action. Another reminder, too, the Bunkhouse Battle Royal will not be on television. So get your tickets or go down to 82nd Avenue Pawn Shop and buy your tickets or at Sandy Bar's Flea Market right here at the arena. Get your tickets, whatever you need to do, be here next Saturday night. Thank you so much for joining us from the House of Action. This has been... Portland Wrestling, and we certainly will see you here next Saturday night. Huh? What would you say if Pizza Hut served up supreme pizzas for the low price of just $6.99 each? Oh, baby, that's what I like. The holiday feast deal up to five supreme pizzas for just $6.99. Oh, baby, that's what I like. The Supreme Pizza with six of your favorite toppings. So this holiday season, hurry into Pizza Hut for the deal that's got everyone saying. Oh, baby, that's what I like. Pizza Hut, make it great. We deliver. Check your local listings for the Pizza Hut nearest you. Some people just don't know when to quit. Nobody says no to Serengeti. They push and push and push until somebody comes along. Looks like we got ourselves a real pro here. With that guts to push. Now I'm ready to fight. For the first time on television, Leon Isaac Kennedy does the jailhouse rock. In Penitentiary 3. Penitentiary 3, Thursday night at 8 on KPTV 12. We all look forward to a long and healthy life. But for more than 4 million Americans, Alzheimer's disease has turned their senior years into a desperate struggle. The American Health Assistance Foundation is committed to the prevention and cure of this deadly disease. Call toll-free 1-800-227-7998 for information on Alzheimer's disease and how families can cope. They're great dates. On a scale from 1 to 10, it was a 15. And dates with disaster. My love connection date is a till of the high. Dates with fireworks. I asked him if he wanted to come back to my place. And dates with jerks. Kind of sounded like Dracula on the phone to me. But whatever the date, it's always fun. Ooh, yeah! When you watch Love Connection. So have a ball with Love Connection every weeknight at 12 on KPTV 12. We couldn't leave. We had to come back for these final words. $5,000 bunkhouse battle royal next Saturday night. The Bart Man's coming. Hey, Grappler, you said you're going to make me look like the Breakfast Club? Well, I'm going to make you look like potluck dinner at Bologna Joe's. Hey, baby, $5,000 bunkhouse battle royal. That's what I like. You saw it tonight. I got some heavy dues to pay, and I got a good friend coming back to help me do it. Top Gun's on his way. You better be ready, because next Saturday night, $5,000 bunkhouse Top Gun off TV. Be there, baby. Be there. This time it really is goodbye. We'll see you next Saturday night. All right.